April 2012, Farmington Hills. Tucker Cipriano and his friend Mitchell Young enter the Cipriano's family home in the middle of the night and proceed to fatally beat Cipriano's father, severely injure his mother, and nearly beat to death his brother Sal. Sal's twin brother and sister were spared that night as they hid in a closet. Now, nine years later, we visit the family and talk recovery, hope, and plans for the future. It has been a long nine years of doctor's appointments, surgeries, and hospital stays for both Sal and his mother, Rose. And while there are so many obstacles, physically, mentally, and financially, the family still holds out hope for their recovery. I caught up recently with Sal and his twin brother as they were training for a run the family holds each year. When you realize where twins, 26-year-old Sal and Tanner Cipriano come from and where they are today, that's when you realize how important this run really is. That's it. Remember, this was Sal after months of hospitalizations and surgeries. His road to healing has been long and arduous. To watch him over these last nine years and see how much he's approved from being told that he wasn't even going to survive in the first place and now he's running, working on talking and doing all these great things. Focus on breathing. Sal is currently going to Florida to meet with specialists who help him there. I got you, buddy. He had a doctor in Windsor, Canada. Our cameras followed him there years ago. But because of the pandemic shutdown, Sal couldn't cross the border and was forced to find a new specialist. I want to move your head slowly back and forth. So now Sal comes to Jacksonville, where much of his therapy deals with his vision to rebuild nerve pathways to master his balance and regain the ability to talk again. One plus three. Back in Farmington Hills, his brother Tanner works with him. The speech therapy can be exhausting as Sal learns to use the muscles in his throat to make the needed sounds to hopefully be able to speak again. The two biggest priorities for Sal right now is learning how to talk again and getting control of his seizures, which he has. Oh, Sal does like to show off his progress on his Instagram page. As well as show off his personality. A 26-year-old that likes to show his humor, tease his brother, and inspire others. And that brings us to this training run. Sal is getting ready for the Cipriano Classic on June 11th. He wants to show his friends and family how far he's come, but admits he still has a far, far way to go. This race is to ask for help and support. The medical expenses continue to mount. The run is a big part of our community and it brings a lot of people together. A lot of people, the supporters that we've had over the years, look forward to it. You've got to be proud when you see him run. I'm proud, but I expected this much of him, so it's, I'm not surprised. I've grown up with him, so I know that he can be a hard worker and determined when he wants to be. When you spend any time with the Cipriano twins, you realize their bond is so strong, much more than just twins. Brothers who survived an unbelievable tragedy and are healing together every step of the way. By the way, I want to say Sal is going to get his high school diploma next week, which is obviously a huge accomplishment for him. A lot of people ask about his little sister, Isabella, and mm -hmm. she is doing great. You know, she was eight years old when that attack happened and she hid in that closet. No physical scars, but obviously mentally, you know, it's yeah. so hard. She, she's soft-spoken, doesn't talk as much about everything, but she's graduating from high school too. So, it, I mean, you've got to give credit to the mom here and just keeping yeah. this family. How is she doing, by the way? You know, she's quiet, so she doesn't like to talk a lot about her injuries, and she mm -hmm. still has issues in headaches and balance issues and all of that, plus at the same time, manage sales care, manage a family, and then all of these medical expenses. Yeah. So that's why they're doing that run, and I really encourage anyone, if they're interested, to show up. It's June 11th. I posted all the information on the website, and if you don't want to run, you can always make a little donation and help them out. That they would really be fun to do. It's yeah. Such a gut wrenching and they can see some of the finish. people that have helped them along yeah, the way. Yeah, but to see that progress. Is, is very nice. He is an impressive, cool. and he's really funny. He's <laughs> yeah. a funny guy. <laughs> Thanks, Karen.